This is Slow Virus Infections by Timokov and Zuev. This was published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which used to be a publishing company in Soviet era Russia. And here it talks a little bit about the book. It says, this textbook is a systemized account of the main subjects of the course in microbiology, vi virology, and immunology. It consists of an introduction and the following three parts. And they have the three parts here. General microbiology. Part two, the theory of inflection and immunity. Part three, special microbiology. So it still has the dust jacket, which is really nice. While well, it's signed and dated. It's a very old book. Let me give it a whiff here just to smell it. It's translated from the Russian by Arthur Askinov. Let's take a look at the contents here. And here's the copyright. First published in 1980, revised from the 1977 Russian edition. And then here are the contents. Part one is the history of the discovery and classification of slow virus infections. Here's part two, diseases caused by conventional viruses. Part three, diseases caused by conventional viruses again, it's just a different part, facultative causative agents of slow infections. Slow infections caused by unconventional viruses. And they have actual, you know, examples, right? Like, crazy. Slow infections of unknown or hypothetical etiology. Peculiarities of laboratory diagnosis of slow infections. Let's let's say here, let's, let's read the preface. This is kind of interesting. It is now established that persistence of infection is a widely spread phenomenon in nature among humans, animals, insects, and plants. It is caused by various representatives of microorganisms, protozoa, bacteria, rickettsia, and viruses. It is precisely in viruses that the ability of inducing this type of infection was so prevalent that a new independent problem of virology known as virus persistence formed in the past 20 years and is now firmly established. Huh. Yeah, viruses can be bad, right? I mean, they, they hurt. There's all kinds of viruses in the world today. It's always, there's always some new virus or something. There's a picture here, I saw a picture. Hmm. Demyelination in Gall's tract and pyramidal tract of the lateral column of a monkey. Spillmeyer's stain. Wow, the book smells incredible. But yeah, this is a pretty advanced book. Um, I wanted to show it to you here. What's this? Diseases caused by conventional viruses. Facultative causative agents of slow infections. Oh, here's a measles virion. I'm not sure if that's how you say. Neg negatively stained. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, kind of interesting. I, I, I don't, if I can find any copies, I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know if I'll be able to. These books are really rare. I collect uh, mostly math books, but since this one's from your publishers, I, I picked it up. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Take care.